Football can be a cruel sport. Today you could be the player everyone swears is destined for greatness, but tomorrow your own teammate could come from nowhere and fulfill your destiny. Who are we kidding? It rarely happens, but here are seven times it actually did. These are seven players who fulfilled the destiny of another player. First off, it's Lamine Yamal who's taking Ansu Fati's place in Barcelona's history. You see, Ansu was destined to be Barcelona's new La Masia superstar, which is why the club didn't have many problems handing him the number 10 jersey after Lionel Messi left. He broke loads of records, including becoming the youngest player to score a goal for Barcelona, youngest player to score a La Liga brace, youngest player to score a goal for the Spain national team, and youngest goal scorer in Champions League history. But you see, apart from the Champions League one, all those records are now held by Lamine Yamal, who's actually going on to become what everyone thought Ansu Fati would be. In fact, Yamal is fulfilling Fati's destiny so much that many people have called for the number 10 to be taken from Fati and given to him. Fati was really good as a teenager, really, really good, but he never managed to win the Euros, win the Golden Boy, or even get nominated for the Ballon d'Or. Lamine Yamal has already done all of that in just his first season as a pro. And it's not like we're completely writing off Fatty here, we hope he still finds his form, but that Barcelona team is Lamine Yamal's now, but just four years ago, we all thought it would be Fatty's. Now there's a Real Madrid pair that we'll talk about in this video as well. Can you guess who they are? Give it a shot in the comments, we'll see if you're correct later on. But now let's talk about how Cole Palmer is currently doing what Mikhailo Mudrik should have done. You guys remember when Chelsea signed Mudrik, yeah? It was in the 2023 January transfer window and it just felt like the Ukrainian was the hottest thing in football. Everybody wanted him, Arsenal were leading the race for his signature and Arteta was doing everything to get him. But then in come Chelsea and they hijacked the signing, making him the most expensive Ukrainian footballer in history. Months after he was signed, Mudrik was given the number 10 shirt, and that showed the faith the club had in him. He was supposed to be the Hazard replacement, the one who would be responsible for a huge portion of the team's goal scoring and goal creation, but things took a very different turn. See, the hype surrounding Palmer's signing was nothing close to that of Mudrik. No one expected him to come that good. Heck, even Chelsea fans were angry that the owners spent that much cash on a player who couldn't even make Man City's bench. We had fans who were excited that Mudrik was signed for £62 million, being so furious that £40 million was spent on Palmer. But it didn't take long for the whole script to flip. Cole Palmer quickly rose to become Chelsea's lord and saviour, while Mudrik is now the seventh choice winger at the club. Crazy. You know what else might be crazy? Saying that Jordan Henderson fulfilled Steven Gerrard's destiny, but technically it's true. Of course, Henderson could never lace Gerrard's boots as a player, but as a Liverpool captain, Henderson ended up being more successful. When Gerrard was made captain at the age of 23, everyone thought he would be the one to take Liverpool to the promised land. He was such a good leader and a great player, and fans thought he'd be able to help the Reds win their first ever league title in the Premier League era. But, as you know, that never happened. He came so close to doing it at the end of his Liverpool career, but it was his own slip that cost them the trophy. But then, in 2015, Gerrard left and handed over the captaincy to Henderson, and in just five years, Henderson was able to lead Liverpool to their first ever Premier League title. That right there was Gerrard's destiny, but it was Henderson who fulfilled it. But this isn't the only Liverpool pair we'll be talking about in this video. Take a guess on who the other pair is while we talk about the Man United pair of Cristiano Ronaldo and Wayne Rooney. It might not seem like it now, but in the early 2000s, Rooney looked like he was going to be bigger than Ronaldo. Rooney won the Golden Boy Award in 2004, a year before Messi, while Ronaldo didn't even win it ever. Man United already had Ronaldo, whom they bought in 2003, but they still went out and bought an 18-year-old Rooney for £27 million in 2004. 15 million more than they spent on Ronaldo the previous year. That made Rooney the most expensive teenager in football at the time. And Rooney had a dream start at United, scoring a hat-trick and providing an assist in a Champions League game on his debut. So everyone thought he would become the superstar who would carry the club for years. But Ronaldo wouldn't let that happen. 
he stepped up and outshone Rooney so much, forcing him to play second fiddle. At United, Ronaldo cleared all the awards. Ballon d'Or, European Golden Shoe, all the PFA awards, he took the lot. And it wasn't until he left that Rooney began to shine and take up the role as Man United's main man. You know what? Let's now talk about that Real Madrid pair. Did you guys guess Mesut Ozil and Kaká? Well, it's them that we're talking about. In 2009, Real Madrid brought a truckload of superstars including Ronaldo, Benzema and Kaká. Kaká was a Ballon d'Or winner and the vision was for him to be the master creator behind the goal scorers, Ronaldo, Benzema and Raúl. The following year, Ozil was only brought in as backup for the Brazilian, but Kaká got injured and needed surgery, so Ozil just stepped in and started to fizz. Kaká was never able to kick into gear at Real Madrid, but Ozil just came in and hit the ground running, putting in some insane numbers assist-wise. Immediately, Kaká took a back seat and was forced to watch as Ozil went on to do what he was supposed to be doing at Real Madrid. Let's now head back to the Premier League. Not many have really clocked this, but Bukayo Saka is currently fulfilling the destiny of Rhys Nelson. You see, back in the academy, Nelson was said to be the next big thing. He was more highly rated than Saka, for sure. He was regularly playing above his age group, and at 18, he was named PL2 Player of the Year. At 17, Wenger had already started including him in the first team mix, and after Alexis Sanchez left for Man United in 2018, Everyone said it would be Rhys Nelson taking up the mantle, but that didn't happen. Instead, he was loaned out to Hoffenheim and later Feyenoord. However, Saka came up a little later, making his Premier League debut a year later than Nelson. But it was he who ended up being what everyone thought Rhys Nelson would be, the kid who had come up from the academy to carry the team for years. We will now wrap up with that Liverpool pair we talked about earlier. It's none other than Mohamed Salah and Sadio Mane. Mane was supposed to be the out-and-out Liverpool saviour after he was signed from Southampton in 2016, but Salah came in a year later and immediately took centre stage. Of course, Mane pulled his weight during the Klopp era, some might even say that he is the more naturally gifted player of the two, but it's Salah who will go down as the face of that team. The Egyptian really fulfilled Mane's destiny in every way. He became the best winger, the best goalscorer, best creator and even the best African player in Liverpool's history. Could that be while they fell apart and Mane forced to move out of Liverpool in 2022? What do you think? Anyway, are there more players who fulfilled the destiny of another player? Feel free to drop their names in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also, turn on the bell notification so you never miss out on new content and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye.